Gemini, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early May 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's going on for the lovely Geminis out there. I hope you're all doing fabulous, my friends. We're getting closer and closer to Gemini season. Let's see what's up. Talk to me, my guys. What's up with my friends? And yeah, we're just going to look at this first card real quick. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock. What do we got for Gemini, my guides, please? Okay, that card popped out on the very first shuffle. All right, some of you might need to have a little bit of fun or you might be having a little bit too much fun. It all depends on what you're going through here. But that card always signifies that to me. And there's some other layers. There's some other wrinkles with that card. Now, before we fully get into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the May subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo, into the reading, have a look at this card. So the imagery is very interesting. We have this snow globe, we have various different toys, this pony or unicorn, whatever it might be. And when I see this card, it generally speaks about someone who might be a little high strung, right? Things might be a little more serious now than they usually are. You might need to cut loose. Whatever fun is for you, whether it's chilling inside, eating some good food, watching Netflix, or going out dancing, partying, whatever it might be, you might need to cut loose. Maybe you wanna go out and walk in nature, right? Do some hiking, do some crystal collecting, whatever it might be. This is spirit asking you to make some time for yourself. It's very healthy to make time for yourself and have a little bit of fun every now and then, cut loose. Now for another small portion of you, Maybe you've been partying it up a little too much when this card shows up, right? And Spirit could be asking you to pump the brakes, but obviously it's for whoever needs it, right? Let's get you into tarot. And I always say with that first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. But yeah, I'm going to get you three tarot cards in the upright before we get the intuitive juiciness flow. And let's go shuffle it up here. What do we got for Gemini, please? My guides and Spirit team. So... Last week's reading, there was a very magnetic type of energy surrounding the Gemini Collective. It was titled, Here They Come. And I almost titled it, Here It Comes, because it felt to me like there was either someone or something moving towards the Gemini Collective very fast and magnetically. But as you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone, so only take this how it hits for you. Those energies can leak through from week to week as well. But we might be seeing your vibe or someone you're connected to. It's always important to remember that. I'm sure you know that already, though. Let's get you three. What do we got for Gemini, please? Early May. All right, we got the King of Wands. Very fiery, entrepreneurial type of energy. Controlling something, right? Can Trying to get a... I don't want to say get a grip on something, but make sure everything's in order. Let's get you two more. Kings do represent control of their suit, and that's a very fiery one. Okay, yeah, action. So we do have the fire air combination showing up. We got two people as well. Yeah, we're going to have to talk about this, Gemini. This is going to be an interesting spread for sure. Let's get you one more. That is one of the fastest moving cards in the deck. So talk about the magnetic type of energy. It's here. Full stop. Okay, so something might have come to a full halt or a full stop when we see this. Okay, this is a very intriguing mixture of energy we got happening here this week my friends let's go through i'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes and we'll get that juicy intuitive stuff flowing now at first glance when i look at this spread elementally we have two swords cards which are of thought and communication the mind and we have fire i always say when we mix fire and air kaboom it's combustible now that could be very good for forward movement forward momentum but it could also be a little out of hand Okay, and it's interesting how this plays, two possible individuals showing up as well. But position number one, we got the King of Wands. You might be connected to a fire sign here, so Aries, Leo, Sag. When I see the King of Wands, like I mentioned a little earlier, kings represent control of their respective suit. Wands is that fiery burning energy within us, right? Our motivation, our passions, you know, what makes us feel red hot on the inside whether it's another person or something we're interested in. So when we see this King of Wands, it's all about where we're focusing our energy. 
Are we focused on the right things? Is our focus straying a little bit? Or are we just trying to keep things under wraps for whatever reason, right? Because with this fire and air, there could be some volatile things that you could just be trying to get a hold over, okay? So we're gonna have to revisit that. Like if it doesn't represent a person you're connected to. Now, moving forward through the reading, we have a very intriguing energy right in the center. We have the Knight of Swords. Look at it rushing directly towards this King of Wands. Now, since this is an air sign reading, in my simplistic style, the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Swords, pardon me, could represent a way you might be feeling when we clarify it, or something that's coming towards you, which we've been seeing for a couple of weeks. Knight of Swords, one of the fastest moving cards in the whole entire deck. Okay, we see him there, he's in full flight. The positives of this, it's a lot, of, it's gaining a lot of ground. Forward movement, forward action, forward momentum in a very, very fast way. Knights can also be messengers sometimes like a page, but this one has a sense of urgency to it when we see the Knight of Swords. In its challenging end, the Knight of Swords could be a little confrontational, so... We do have to watch out for that, like issues and situations, confrontations, whenever he shows up here. But it is in full flight. It's moving towards that entrepreneurial king of wands we got there. So we're really going to want to dive deeper on all this. Now, moving to the very back end, we have a little bit more of this air energy. Remember how I was saying with that very first oracle card, you need to look after yourself. Okay, whether it's having fun, staying in, whatever it might be, the four of swords is the card of staying in, right? Taking a break, taking a rest. So we go from this fiery mixture right here in the beginning to a full stop type of energy, okay? This card could represent sleep, so hopefully you're not having issues in the night, issues sleeping, dreams and such. It's a card that could represent spirituality, meditation, things like that. The Four of Swords to me is generally a soothing, soft type of energy. But with all this, like it's a little jarring on the back end. So there could be various things that you are putting a stop to, or that could be coming to a close with the way this is flowing. But this is also a big card of self-care, right? If you're feeling Ten of Wands, like the Four of Swords is taking time to recuperate, regenerate, heal. So with all that being said, I want to dive deeper, Gemini. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffle here for my Geminis. Interesting spread this week. I mean, your spreads are always interesting. Let's get a good shuffle. And yes, my friends, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's see what's up with that King of Wands, right? And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Gemini, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, King of Wands. What's this all about? What is that King of Wands here? Thank you. Okay, yeah, more air which is an element you're usually mixed in. All right, yeah, this is someone really trying to keep it together. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse underneath this King of Wands. And like I said, there's this overpowering explosive energy in the beginning. The Nine of Wands could be another card that links to sleep. So we're seeing it double here in this spread. Please make sure you're getting proper rest and relaxation. Take care of yourself, please. But when I see this card in reverse underneath this King of Wands, this could be someone that is very high strung, very nervous or anxious for whatever reason. And they're trying to keep it all together, trying to keep a hold on it, trying to keep a lid on it. Like, no, everything's fine. Everything's going to be OK. Let's stay on track. Let's stay focused. Now, if that's not you, like I said, it could be someone you're linked to They're They got a lot on their mind, a lot on their shoulders, and they're just trying to keep it all together. Big, anxious, nervous energy right here in the front end. Or just someone who's having a very difficult time sleeping when this shows up in the reverse usually good. So maybe some of you are gaining mastery over things that we were just speaking about. Okay, coming out of that energy, we'll see how it plays throughout the rest of this reading. But the way it's all mixing with the fire and the air, we'll see if that continues throughout this. But I am getting the vibe of somebody trying to control the mind, control the thought process and keep the lid on something, whether it's nerves or anxiety. So let's see what's up with that Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of, Knight of Swords? I keep saying the Knight of Wands, but why is that Knight of Swords here? Thank you. Nice and quick. Okay, yeah, not so fast type of energy. Okay, like, yeah, you're not going to get away with that one. Okay, you might really be wanting to, like, hold someone to 
to accountability or hold their feet to the fire. We have Lady Justice in the upright underneath this Knight of Swords. And remember I said it looks like this knight is chasing down this King of Wands. Justice is a karmic card, okay? This could be a card of karmic justice. What goes around comes around for a portion of you. It might just be linked to the Libra when Lady Justice shows up. But in the upright underneath this Knight of Swords, it was giving me that vibe. Like, listen, you're not going to get away with that. I'm going to hold you accountable to this. Like, not so fast. So whether it's you or whether it's spirit, like, there could be someone you might call out in this time as well. Like, listen, yeah, no, that's not going to work. Or you messed up here, you messed up there. That's a big vibe we're picking up. But she is the biggest card of karma. So when I see it underneath the Knight of Swords moving towards this king, it's like, all right, karma is going to catch up to somebody eventually. Okay, karmic justice, a uh, karmic lesson of some sort. Okay, or karma will be served up eventually. You know, what you have put out, what you've put forth, you will get back in return. Okay, if it's not that, if it's not something that big, a lot of you could just be wanting to hold someone accountable. Like, listen, no, you need to answer for this, like what you did. Let's keep moving over to the Four of Swords. Notice, elementally, all air, aside from that king. So let's see why that Four of Swords is here. Interesting reading for sure. How's that Four of Swords here? Thank you. Moon card. Mm. Okay. Yeah, big card of mystery. For a portion of you, this could represent a Pisces. One of my biggest cards of the unseen, the unknown Okay, this could be a resolution that is just not known yet. And I always say it is like a surprising conclusion. Like when I see it with the Four of Swords and all the stuff happening here, like the result or the conclusion of something, you don't quite see it just yet. You might not see all the moving pieces, but it's going to happen one way or another. Okay, and I'm not getting a completely negative vibe or a challenging vibe here, but that's just i've felt it since the beginning this hectic energy here then the stoppage on the back so this could be like a surprising conclusion or an unexpected ending of some sort and i'm not saying it's going to be a bad thing at all right but when we get this big card of mystery i mean if you're not linked to a pisces or a cancer like the moon is that big card of the unknown another thing i do have to just keep double and tripling down on the moon is etheric and dreamy and sleepy as well for a portion of you, like, this could be spirit telling you, like, listen, you need to meditate a little more. Like, you really should speak to your inner self, your inner voice. Like, that's a big thing. So if you are going through hectic things or you're anxious or you're trying to get this under control, spirit could be saying right here on the back end with the four swords and the moon, speak to your inner self, speak to your inner voice, cut, a, cut some time for meditation because that could be very beneficial for you. Let's go through and do a quick recap. I don't want to ramble on too much, my friends. If you kindly look in the box before we get in the shadow card, interesting play of energy from front to back. We have major arcana, we have court cards, we have a little bit of everything happening. But position number one, we have the king of wands with the nine of swords in reverse. Notice lots of cards that are very sleepy for some reason or healing or rest rejuvenation oriented but this to me in the front did feel like this could be someone who was extremely high strung nervous or anxious and they're just trying to keep a lid on it they're trying to keep everything under control and stay focused for whatever reason now this could be that energy alleviating however as we press forward through the reading we have the knight of swords with lady justice in the upright it looks like they're chasing this person down not so fast you're not going to get away with this whether you want to hold somebody accountable or just tell them what they've done or where they went wrong or what you know just hold them accountable that's the best way i could put it another vibe i was picking here is like karma catching up to somebody okay whether it's karmic justice karmic dose there is this big warning here of someone getting served up what they've put out and, and they're going to get it back in return on the back end, we have the Four of Swords with the Moon card in the upright. Since there is such a big focus on sleep and rest and rejuvenation, this could be Spirit asking you to speak to your inner self, your inner voice, do a little med meditating and calm the mind. But this did also feel like a surprising or unexpected co conclusion or ending when I had that on the back end. So please take a screenshot. I'm going to get you one shadow card here real quick just so we can see what's in the shadows interesting spread and notice there's a ton of air energy which is all mental conversational let's see what we have in the shadows for you my friends i'm using the shadowland tarot which is an awesome deck for doing shadow work it's one of my favorites 
Okay, whether it's something within yourself or something you don't quite see like that moon there. What do we got? Real quick, what's in the shadows for Gemini, please? Okay, yeah, the shadow deck. There we go. Yeah, Ace of Wands, so more fire showing up right here. Now, the Ace of Wands is a very deep type of card. It is that burning fire once again, so that volatile energy we've been seeing as the train go, goes by out there. Aces can usually be opportunities, but when I see the shadow side of this, it is somebody's temper flaring up. So in this time, beware, you might like have a hairpin temper in this time, or somebody might just catch your wrath for whatever reason when the Ace of Wands shows up in the like in the shadows. Another thing I have to say about the Ace of Wands, it's a very sexual card. It's a card that focuses around the libido. So Spear might be asking you to shine a light on that. Maybe you're a little wound up for whatever reason. I'm, I'm not judging, but I just always have to mention with the Ace of Wands, it's a very sexual card for whatever reason, and it's there. But yes, Gemini, that's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the May Subscriber Surprise. For the May Subscriber Surprise, I'm giving away two boxes of the beautiful Tarot of the Owls. This is an awesome deck. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things, as always, my friends. First, you must be subscribed, which I'm sure you already are. And second, let me know down in the comments, out of all the cards in this week's reading, which one spoke to you the most. You'll be entered to win, and at the end of the month, I will announce the winners in my community tab at random, as always. My friends, much love to you, and I'll see you next time.